Mansa Cure Ninja is still in Riyadh, the capital city of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, at Black Hat Middle East and Africa 2023. Now last year's conferences were all about zero trust, but this year the ubiquitous topic is artificial intelligence. Now just as AI is a boon to personal productivity, hackers are also utilizing this technology for their own malicious productivity. Let's talk to an expert on just how hackers are utilizing this emerging technology. Secure Ninja. Hi everyone, it's Andrew from Secure Ninja TV again, and we're still in Saudi Arabia at Black Hat, and I've just listened to a very interesting talk from Islam Mustafa. Islam, it's lovely to meet you. You are the senior digital forensics engineer for Egyptian Search, but you're also in the CTF here at Black Hat. How is it that going? Well, it's exciting. Uh, it's my first time in Black Hat MEA, and it's nice to be uh, at the CTF and also as a speaker. It's really engaging to be on at the same place at uh, different aspects and at different uh, positions. Uh, my team is there competing and should be back there with them and my speech uh, was uh, really engaging with others. Excellent, well it was a very good speech. You. Um, you were talking about artificial intelligence, machine learning, and cybersecurity in general. Um, is artificial intelligence being used in any attacks that you know of? Well, there was a recent case about a certain employee that got uh, scammed by an AI model or by a synthetic voice of his employer asking him to transfer uh, amount of money and he did although he had some questions and exclamations about the nature of that call but eventually he wired the transaction and then later uh, his manager called him asking him where did that money go he told him I transferred them to you and obviously he did not they ended up investigating the whole action and later they knew that there was an AI model mimicking the voice of the employer and asked him in real time to transfer the money. And this is the scary part. AI model has the ability now to mimic us. Adversaries could use it anytime. And not only was the voice good enough to fool the manager, there was an interactive conversation. Absolutely. Yeah, it's amazing stuff. Um, so the attackers are certainly using AI. Um, I as defenders, we're going to have to leverage the, the power of AI as well, and large language models are very much in the news at the moment. Um, AI versus large language models, what's the difference? Which might be more useful and more cost effective to use? Well, both are useful, but the problem is, an AI models are heavy. They require a lot of data, they require a lot of training and cost and time. And when an LLM models, they don't need that much data their layers of algorithm and configuration doesn't need that much training. They could be just trained on a set of, amount, a set of text and it will generate the needed parameters, uh, the needed output based on the parameters they were fed with. And this comes easy for me. Not just for me, for anyone who plans on training an LLM model. You just need your data set implemented correctly the parameters you need to work on, you need the LLM model to engage in, and then you'll be able to generate the output, whatever you want. Wow, and it's flexible as well, because you're effectively converting human speech or thought into words, then it's very, very flexible. Yeah, of course. Uh, in that manner, we are saving a lot of time for us as humans to work on something else. And the process itself is self-enhancing, the more output the LLM it gets, the more it will become more efficient in enhancing itself and learning from new parameters. Like we use in some open source available right now, or not open source, they are publicly available to anyone, uh, like ChatGPT or Bard, we tell them to learn from what I said right now, learn from what you extracted. That's not correct, we need to enhance that. It learns from that. And this is where it shines. It's enhancing itself at real time. I saw in your presentation that you uh, showed um, the MitreTag framework and the s specific indicators of compromise and indicators of SAC for a particular APT, and you can just convert those into text and go ahead and search through logs with a hook into your networking devices, your seam, and for a completely different search, you just do the same thing again. It's very, very flexible and very easy to create a new search. 
about the future, where do you see the future going, attackers versus defenders with AI? Where do you think it might be used? Well, there's a tension between both sides. Us on the defensive side or and the security, uh, the white hat side, we will use AI and LLMs to enhance and uh, defend uh, and harden, harden our own security appliances and our network defenses. On the other hand, criminal adversaries and cyber criminals will use AI models and LLMs since they are open source as much as they want. They could create a deep fake engine to generate deep fake photos or videos for anyone and anyone might be fooled by them. They could generate voices, they could mimic anything. They could even mimic the handwriting and have physical signatures. So it's a race against implementing the proper models into our defenses and investigating or detecting the malicious adversaries and their use of the AI models. And this is another problem. So it's promising, but it's scary at the same time. Scary and promising at the same time, yeah. Things have moved on from trying to, you know, coerce um, ChatGPT into writing a Python script. That might be some kind of an attack tool. Things are moving very, very quickly. Well, Islam, it's been lovely talking to you. Hopefully we'll talk to you again at Secure Ninja TV. Have a great day. Pleasure is mine. Thank you. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. There is so much going on here in the Gulf region in cybersecurity, we don't want you to miss a thing. So please remember to subscribe, to like, and to hit that notification bell, because myself and my friend here are looking forward to seeing you again. We're planning on coming back to the Gulf very, very soon. But hey, this is Secure Ninja TV. You never know where we're gonna be next. I'm Andrew Howard for Secure Ninja TV. We'll talk to you again soon.